<sighs> Hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> um, one of my things I say to myself is that I don't mind to do videos, it's just make sure they're not too hard to edit. Um, so yeah, at the moment, working on the website, that's my number one thing I need to do. And I move on to other stuff. Anyway, so today we are reacting to the Batman, the Telltale series, season two, the enemy with him. The enemy with, with it, I guess it says that, uh, trainer we are. So yeah, let's get started. I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Much fun. <laughs> August Yates is coming out. I wonder if it's going to have a different age rating though. With season one, we had the challenge of finding out how far we could take Batman and bend it before it breaks. We found out that you could bend it pretty far. The thing that's a lot different for us is that we do a lot of gameplay as Bruce Wayne, which most games are very focused on Batman. In our game, you play both as Bruce and as Batman, so both sides of the identity. Season one was a story about you as Bruce Wayne seeing everything around you that you kind of understood to make you up kind of all fall apart. The whole Batman mythos is all about Bruce Wayne having his parents sacrifice himself for him at a young age. Season and one stories not. about Bruce finding out that his father was actually corrupt. His family wasn't what he thought it was. He's finding out that his company could be taken away from him. The people he cares most about are in danger. His heroes have now really become the people that he now fights. Great quote by Harryhausen, the best monster is one you can imagine in repose. In season one, we got a chance to set up some of the villains that people are the most familiar with. But in The Enemy Within, we get to see those villains, those monsters in repose. We're allowing the player to explore a philosophy of a means to an end. Like, how far are they willing to go? What parts of themselves are they willing to compromise to get the job done? Bruce is going to have to realize that the only way to take down some of these villains is to get closer to them. I think as we've seen in the teaser trailer, the biggest new threat is the appearance of the Riddler. Obviously John Doe makes an appearance. We talk about John Doe um, internally as the proto-joker. Obviously Telltale games are all about choices, they're all about talking, and then every time you talk to John Doe, you should be wondering, is he listening to what I'm saying? He very well might be. The thing that I've always loved about Telltale Games is there's a partnership between myself and the game to where I am helping to create my own narrative. The stakes have never been higher than it does with a Batman game because now I'm creating my own Batman. The sandbox goes from here to here. If you played season one and you enjoyed getting to know some of the Batman villains who were a little bit different than you saw in canon, being able to form close relationships with them, befriend them, become their mortal enemies, you are going to have an amazing time in The Enemy Within. Telltale's Batman The Enemy Within premieres this August. The billionaire or the bat? Which mask will you wear? Amazing. Truly truly amazing now sorry i didn't really talk so much and we did get some interruptions but sometimes i get so fed up that i don't really care so much anyway i hope you enjoyed this little reaction video i know it was boring so yeah i'll see you on the next one hello everyone welcome to somewhat of a short reaction video today we we are reacting to the life is strange teaser trailer and it says all to be revealed August 20th oh my god like maybe I'm getting used to not having Max and Chloe back in our lives again let's do this let's do this
Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need back to Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need back. And I always look terrible when I do these type of filming. So, uh, wow, that was actually something. Like, the only thing that I could actually say that, hey, they did something like how this could have happened is that if, uh, well, powers, basically. Um, I don't know. Uh, the housing, um, like, there's one theory here, maybe glued into Max, but they literally said that they'll be going away from Max. So what I've picked up on this is that I don't know what this home looks like. I can imagine this, it sounds like a kid voice, but then it might be just a grown uh, 20 year old adult voice. Now the officer is called Officer, officer uh, Matthew. Um, if so, this is the section where I um, edit a load of stuff, so I am going to go to the IDB page of the Amazing Adventures of Captain Spirit and see what we can find there. Just remembering us, reminder of the previous names, so, oh, well, the names that I see on the IDB page of this one doesn't really include into what uh, the teaser trailer saw. Apparently we've been told that there may be there's going to be multiple cap characters that will be exploring through different stories and different episodes. Um, that's what I've just heard but Officer Matthews, so uh, I'm about to go to the Life is Strange actual thing. So I'm just looking here to see if there's any one uh, having the same sort of name to that. Um, no, like I kind of thought, hey, could this be some for, some sort of version of David Madison or something like that? It sounds really interesting. Um, again, I'm not too sure we get much from this teaser trailer. I guess we're gonna have to wait until the 20th of August. It's funny because I filmed the commentaries today. Um, I've talked about Life is Strange and how Life is Strange 2 will, will feel more this month, so yeah. Um, am I excited? Yeah. I just want a physical release date. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, yeah, we'll definitely do a reaction video to the full trailer once again. So, so today we're going to be reacting to some of my old videos from Addy's Game. In fact, we're going to start off reacting from the first five of them, so yeah. <laughs> Draw epic on those purposes. Now, a seven minute video. Hey guys, somehow I wasted a bit of time there. But anyway, um. Sorry, I wasted time. Found that a bit boring, so let's just move on to something that seems a bit more entertaining. Hey guys, I just want to say um, a welcome to my um, gaming channel. Okay, Not much and um, on this channel I'll be doing let's plays. I'll be doing um, playing games. I'll be playing games on my like, computer, Facebook, um, Xbox, the Nintendo Wii. All of that great stuff. So um, yeah, please subscribe, like, and favorite my channel and my videos. Okay, so um, yeah, bye. 
Jesus Christ, just like, my word. Well, that's not embarrassing. <laughs> it's like, oh, you do the swing for fun, but to be honest, you have to start from somewhere. You have to embarrass yourself somehow, otherwise you don't get the views. Alright, on to... So this was Candy Crush level 30. I've already skipped one video because it will be too big for me to put in this. Ah, oh, this is my old using iMovie. It's when the ads were there. <laughs> well, you can see some of the people I like. Well, I'm not, I've gone Facebook, I meant to say. I haven't really changed in personality that much, I guess. Like, the reason why I don't really do Candy Quest that much is kind of like, that's a game where you can do it on your own. It's just, I don't know, it's just one of those games where it's boring. It is. It's... it's Alright, so I know I'm going to... I know so I do five, but... Yeah, that's enough for today, I would say. Okay, so, um, more of the story is, my younger self was a bit, mmm, alright, I'll see you guys on the next one. I don't know if the quality's different, but it's the same camera, uh, hello everyone. Today, we're going to do another reaction to you. Now, we're not reacting just to one video. No, we're reacting to all videos. Probably this got released at Soul Celebration, but today we are... Reacting to the Star Wars Battlefront 2, the full length trailer for the video game, and Star Wars Rebel Season 4 trailer. So, what do we do first? Uh, let's do Star Wars Battlefront 2. I love the music of this by now. I've waited 30 years for this. Orders. I probably extended it. The day the real war began. The rebellion cannot be allowed to persist. Sounds like the original war exactly from the last game. Okay. We weren't expecting special forces. That's the point, Sergeant. Sergeant. Impossible. Impossible. Commander. Commander. What do we do now? No impossible. We avenge our emperor. Looks like they've taken some things from Force Awakens from multi battle miles. Got to say, not too bad. Now, from what I'm guessing from this trailer, is this, this is taking the story mode is taking right off Return of the Jedi. 
You'll still be able to do the stuff that you did in the first game, but there's a story mode this time. It looks like this is how it grew from the Force Awakens. This is how they built this. It looks like this is how everything is keying up together. And from what I actually know, like, I guess it's on pre-order right now for the last Jedi hero um, characters. Right, uh, are you gonna load? So you'll be able to pre-order this. Uh, so iconic characters such as Yoda or Darth Maul. Nice to see that. So, I guess it's actually on the proper upload. I wonder if we've got a release date yet. Um, the end of this year. It looks like it's saying it's going to be coming out on the November the 11th. Very nice. I'm definitely pre ordering that. Okay, start. Got Starfighters fight. Oh, Poe's in here. That music, I love it. R2. Fader looks and sounds amazing. The Millennium Falcon. Love it. Boom! Boom! That voice sounds familiar. Is that voice more from Star Wars Rebels? Yes, Yoda! Very cool. So during the trade I didn't really want to speak that much because I wanted you guys to hear it. Um, but I did speak every now and then. So the analysis of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer. Now um, I've kind of watched an analysis of a other one but I didn't really pay attention because you know sometimes when you want to work and watch a video at the same time basically like that you put on in the background so okay so with this trailer um, we know that the um, Yoda will have a starfighter um, Darth Maul will have one Poe will have one and Darth Vader will have one now I'm also thinking that why haven't we seen an Obi-Wan Kenobi one? Or ha why hasn't Obi-Wan Kenobi, ha ha why hasn't he been announced to be in this game? Because if you do remember in past Star Wars Battlefront games, he has been in this, uh, in this game franchise. Like, we know that he wasn't in Star Wars the Battlefront beforehand, the one that was released in 2015, but, um, because we know that that game was mainly for the uh, like the first couple of film bases and Rogue One, but it's I just hope we do see him. Uh, I don't think Jar Jar Binks will ever come. I just feel like that's kind of like a joke that boom basket games made up. I haven't watched I haven't watched their videos in quite a while. Uh, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> Um, but the music, um, I can relate this a lot to when I released my Star Wars, a Star Wars story trailer. When I did release it, um, I did use half of the music from Rogue One, I used the Darth Vader march theme. And I feel like Rogue One, that's where the true music comes out. I, I had all these options, but I just thought, I just wanted to use something. Um, so um, yeah. So the trailer the, the, for this looks good. I wouldn't say it looks bad. It's just I like it when there's gameplay footage and um, 
and I just hope we see a trailer or some sort of announcement with Obi-Wan Kenobi because that's who I'm mainly rooting for. So, um, yes. So let me know what you think of that trailer in the, the comments below hand. I'm soon if I'm not lazy enough. Peggy 7. <laughs> it's the background from Spyro 1. Bring him on. The adventure begins. Spyro looks really good. Oh, that shot's quite awesome. Wow. I like these type of old games put into this new environment. <laughs> Voice sounds similar to the original there. And that. Stupid boss. The old three games, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spyro is back, finally. So it says on this end screen here, PlayStation 4, Toys for Bobs, active.